Hi, TLG Carlson here, and time for more classic comedy hitting the 4K format. Warner Brothers has pulled out all the stops for their 100th anniversary, giving a lot of overdue movies 4K releases. Today, we're going back in time and looking at one of my favorite comedies of all time, 1983's National Lampoon's Vacation. This is the Steelbook release, available exclusively at Best Buy. I had to get this because it has the classic Star Wars-style artwork, whereas you get something slightly more generic on the standard package. I'm going to unbox this release, share my opinions, and let you know if this release gets my recommendation. Again, I absolutely love that cover art there, the Star Wars-style artwork from the original movie poster. And this, of course, appeared on a lot of the VHS art back in the day as well. There's our spine text top of the backing card, back of the backing card. Underneath you have the family truckster going through the, uh, the air. I like the way that looks. We do have a uh, digital code of the film in here. We have our actual 4K disc here. And this is only a 4K disc. There is no Blu-ray copy of the film included. We'll get into that a little later as to why that's a problem. Underneath, you have the clan getting together, getting in the car, and of course, dealing with a rowdy dog who would meet his end a few scenes late. I'm going to read the description of the film from the backing card for those of you who may not have seen it. Everything is planned, packed, and about to go hilariously wrong. The Griswolds are going on a vacation. In the driver's seat is Clark Griswold, and every man eager to share the open road and wonders of family togetherness with his long-suffering wife, and they're two frustrated teens. After a myriad mishaps, 2,460 miles, and a run with a hapless security guard, it's a wonder the Griswolds are still together. There's never been a family vacation like it. The National Lampoon team put out some very funny comedy movies back in the day. And National Lampoon's Vacation is arguably the most famous of the lot. Beverly D'Angelo and Chevy Chase, of course, star as Ellen and Clark Griswold, the two that were in all five of the films over the years. Their kids in this film, Rusty and Audrey, are portrayed by a young Anthony Michael Hall and Dana Barron. The Griswold kids would be recast in each subsequent film, whereas Chase and D'Angelo would appear again in all five films. The movie, of course, it's a road trip, so it's kind of you know, episodic from one place to another. And you get a nice who's who of actors and actresses that show up along the way. I mean, you have Eugene Levy playing a car salesman, a young Jane Krakowski playing one of Cousin Eddie's daughter. Cousin Eddie himself, of course, portrayed by the always funny Randy Quaid. This would become the definitive role of his career. And then going down the road, you get appearances from Christine Brinkley, Frank McRae, John Candy, Eddie Bracken, and just, you know, a whole host of others. We even get a brief appearance from Brian Doyle Murray, as a camp comfort clerk. Doyle Murray, of course, would portray Clark's boss in the later sequel, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I do appreciate the directorial style that Harold Ramis brought to this film. He has sort of a deadpan verbal style. It previously directed Caddyshack, and in a lot of ways, it's sort of that same sense of humor. It's rarely over the top or overly slapstick, and I do appreciate that he actually goes for mostly verbal laughs that have to be earned. Slapstick moments are few and far between, whereas they would dominate the sequel, National Lampoon's European Vacation, which I think really worked against the final product. We didn't really get a nice balance of the two approaches until National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation in 1989. There are certainly moments of this movie that are politically incorrect by today's standards. I won't get into that here, but the movie, you know, 40 years on, it's as funny as it's ever been. Still one of my favorite comedies of all time, and I'm so happy to see we finally get it in the 4K format. Now, a lot of the times when you have these older movies being released on 4K, you gotta wonder, you know, are they just reusing an old master? Or are they remastering it? I'm happy to say National Lampoon's Vacation looks absolutely gorgeous in the 4K format. I think the DVD and Blu-ray were sourced from the same master, and it just never looked all that great. But here it's like they've clearly gone back, restored this, made it the way it was supposed to look. The picture is clear, sharp, and detailed, colorful, and yet all the film grain is intact. So it is nice to see that they actually put some effort into making this movie look as good as it does. Sadly, the only bonus feature in the package is the commentary track that's been on like all the DVD and Blu-ray releases. Because they failed to include a Blu-ray copy with this, it doesn't have any of the other featurettes from earlier releases. I don't know how hard it would have been to either A, put those 
bonus features on the 4K disc, or B, just slapping a copy of the old Blu-ray version. So I'm sort of torn here. If you're a 4K owner and you're a fan of this film, by all means pick this up. The picture quality is absolutely gorgeous. But hold on to your old Blu-ray copy because you're going to need it for the bonus features. I strongly recommend this disc, but again, just be warned about the lack of special features. Are you a fan of National Lampoon's Vacation? Is it one of your favorite comedies of all time? You think it's the best movie in the Vacation series? Comment down below and let me what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. See you next time.